Hi everyone, I am Lauren feltner Schwaki, and I am the District Mental Health Specialist here at Crawford. Um, what that is, is um, a counselor for um, some of the kids here who might need to talk about their problems or something went on at home or something's going on with a friend. And we can kind of work through some of that so that you have a great day and, and then a successful school year. Um, I am going to be reading another chapter from Sea Folks, and this one is about Say Young. Okay. Always many people in my house when I was young, five sisters, many friends. I always like being with people. Then I'll leave Korea with my husband to come to America for work. We buy a dry cleaning shop, live next block. Dry cleaning shop better than restaurant. Don't have to speak English too much and only work six days. We work together seven until seven. At night, I sew alterations. We save all for children's college so they can have easier life, but no children come. Very many years we hope, but still alone. Then my husband died, heart attack, 37 years old. Now all alone except for friends. I hire a woman to work in shop. One afternoon when she gone, a man walk into shop with coat to clean. Under coat, he has a gun. He take out money, then push me down. He yelling at me, very bad words. Then he kick me, break cheekbone. Then he kick me again, head hit hard against wall, and I go to sleep. When I wake up, I no more like to be with people like before. Afraid of everyone all the time. I don't leave apartment for two months. Neighbor buys food for me at store. I don't open door if someone knocks, even friends. Only for food. Afraid to walk on sidewalk with people, I hire a Korean man to run dry cleaning shop. I never go in. That happened two years ago. Very slowly I get better. I go to store and buy my food, but very fast. Then, not so fast. Very lonely, but still afraid. Then I pass by garden. Vietnamese girl was working there, picking beautiful lima beans. A man and a woman on other side, talking of a row of corn. Here man, say wife, give him hope for his birthday. I want to be with people again. Next day, I go back and dig small garden. Nobody talked to me that day, but just be near people, nice people, feel good, like next to fire in winter. Very hot and humid in July. Most people come early in the evening after work when air is cool. People watering and pulling weeds. Even if don't talk anymore, sound of people working almost like conversation all around. People visit friends. I listen to voices. I feel very safe. Then man walk over and ask about peppers. I grow hot peppers like in Korea. First time that someone talked to me. I was so glad, have trouble talking. That man named Sam, he's an American man and talked to everyone, very smart. When people all the time complain about carrying water, he start contest. He said how adults couldn't solve problems, let children try. He said he give $20 to a child under 12 who has the best idea. He write this on paper and nail paper to post close to sidewalk. One week to contest. Kids out of school walk around, see paper, tell friends. On Saturday, everyone bring plans. Sam has wooden box. Let each one stand on it and tell idea. One girl live in an apartment by garden. She says she'll open window. People give her containers. She'll fill them with water. Then mother interrupts. Say water built too much. Boys say use water from fire hydrant. Another say run hose from Lake Erie. Many ideas. Sam explains how much money each one costs. Then a little girl say to let rain from spouts go into garbage cans. Everyone look. Three different spouts on walls of buildings around the garden. Just have to take off bottom part of spout. Sam gave the girl $20. Everyone clap. Other people give money to buy garbage cans. Next day, thunderstorm. <clears throat> cans almost full. Little girl there very proud. Someone bring three old pots to scoop water out of cans. Hard to pour into narrow containers. I quit, go to store, buy three funnels to make much easier filling containers. I put one by each garbage can. That day I see many use my funnel. 
feel very glad inside, feel part of garden, almost like family. So she said something during the story that kind of changed her way of life. Um, and that was when she said she feels very safe. Um, I hope that when you visit my office, or if you visit my office, that it is a safe space for you and that you guys can create safe spaces in your classroom and among friends and among your teachers. So now I think you all will do a circle.